Forty years ago, President Nixon enacted the National Maximum Speed Law. It began federal control of top highway speed and wrested that away from the states. Derided in song and hated by millions, 55 miles per hour was supposed to save 2% of auto fuel consumption, an amount that is trivial today compared to the savings that technology has accomplished. But by 1995, the law was repealed, and we got back to an interesting patchwork of speed limits. Texas currently has the highest road speed in the U.S., 85 miles an hour on Highway 130 between Austin and San Antonio. Alaska and D.C., they post the lowest at 55 maximum. But more relevant to a state's fastness is the average of all posted speed limits on its interstates and highways. Cars.com painted a picture of that using data from the Governor's Highway Safety Association. Texas is tops, as you might imagine, at 78 miles per hour average. Idaho's postings are right up there, averaging 77. Then it's a tie between Wyoming and Maine at 75. On the bottom end, D.C. and Alaska. They both post 55 and average 55. Now, since 55 was repealed, U.S. road fatalities have gone from a little under 42,000 a year to under 34,000 in 2012, about a 25% decline. But that's all fatalities on all roads. If you just look at the high-speed roads, the IIHS says a 2009 study in the American Journal of Public Health found a 9% increase in road fatalities on rural interstates since 1995. Those are the roads where top speed limits are most often seen. They suggest that an impact at 80 miles an hour versus 55 puts a lot more force on the stuff bouncing around inside your car, namely you and your passengers. It pays to double check the speed limit, but also your speed relative to other traffic, as well as the conditions of your car, the road, and you.